So before continuing the campaign, I actually missed something called Stone Trials from the quest release. Weirdly enough, and I had the same situation in The Wizard's Dark Times, both Quest and PC VR were different versions in terms of side content. Like on the PC side, there was more stuff to do, like multiplayer or arena mode. Here it's kinda the same situation, but inverted. I don't know, it's just those developers have inconsistencies between the platforms. Wish it would be all the same except for the graphics, but that's just my two cents, I guess. So Storms of Trials seems to be in beta still and sort of like a wave based system where every once in a while we pick like a new skill or just progress through with equipment upgrades. I do feel like I'm gonna spoil myself from the campaign since I'll see what awaits me eventually along the way. But it's available now so let's do it. <laughs> in the stone trials you need to choose only one weapon for the fight. Use the weapon stand to pick up. I see. During your play you will gain resources to buy new weapons. For now the Tempest Blade is free. Damn, the drama. So we kinda have the same upgrades that I've seen in the campaign. Not really much to do in the beginning, so... Let's just see how that's gonna go. We're here. <laughs> Oh, we didn't even have a dash. Okay. <laughs> I can't practice my blocking here, though. And it works. Hell yeah. Each completed arena grants you a Sigmoid award. Also, you can choose one of the additional awards. Lifesteal, lesser health. Actually, lifesteal. In general, I love this passive or whatever in games. We're not even appearing in the same arena. That's nice. We literally start from a zero. <laughs> Wait, is it based on the movement as well? Like the strength? Oh yeah. Killing enemies restored your other. I guess it's for skills, which I don't have still, but maybe that's gonna help. Damn it! <laughs> like I'm discovering environments that I wasn't before. It's still confirming to me that I'm gonna do the hardcore mode and on the PC VR. Like I mentioned, fluidity and ambiance. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I feel like the sword is in the weird position. Like it should be a little bit tilted, yeah. Wish I would customize that. Maybe it's not like a part of the campaign, but you can progress. Hmm. First free hits you receive when entering. It seems like passive skills are way better. <laughs> Wait, do we have. Uh, yeah, here. I wonder if I'll have this in storyline as well to unlock. I think, yeah. Would make sense. That's 
spin though. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I'm missing hits because the sword is in awkward position. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. Okay, I'll get health now. Even though I'm full. Okay. Let's kill this. <laughs> when do I go back to the base though? Is it like manually? We can return to the hub. Let's see. Mm hmm. Do I have yeah, stuff that I earned? Okay, and then I will just continue from the... Moment I would finish, most likely. No, I reset it. Huh. Maybe after like five or ten stages you go back automatically. I wish there would be like a notification that Danger, you will reset the progress. <laughs> okay, well, there's no need for me to play more than... <laughs> I screwed myself up, per usual. <laughs> I think this mode has potential to work out, actually. It's still in beta, so that's why I didn't get a notification that I left the progress or some other minor stuff. Also, to start it, you kind of have to create a new save file for the game, meaning it's completely separating itself from the campaign and being kind of a different game within a game. It's pretty enjoyable. I'm not gonna play more because I will, I feel like, spawn myself from the storyline. So maybe we'll go back to it eventually. We'll have to see. And let's go back where we started. Yeah. <laughs>